back to my channel. It's your girl Shayla Michelle. I know, I know it's been a very long time, but your girl's engaged. No, for real. Like, a lot of stuff has changed in my life. It's crazy. Um, as you can see, my back my background's totally different from what it used to be. So we moved houses. Um, yeah, I'm a fiance. Yeah. I'm double vaccinated, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I really am double vaccinated. If you ain't following your girl, make sure you follow me at Shayla Michelle. Go ahead, click that subscribe button, as well as that bell notification so you can get the uploads every time that I upload because I'm always gonna be dropping gems, period. Um, I've been purchasing a lot of sneakers. Shoe, we're gonna jump right into it. First sneaker is the one that I'm wearing with this cute little play suit. So wait, let me show you the play suit play suit on dick it's cute ain't it i got this from zara i probably could have went up a size or whatever i got it on sale a while ago i guarantee you guys you're not going to be able to find it what i'm wearing with my little play suit is these cute little new balance shoes so as you can see new balance is coming with the heat period so they have decided to switch up the style, switch up the wave, and they are also trying to um, make this affordable. So this shoe was $65. It comes in several different colorways, which I'm so excited about. I actually love this shoe. It's super comfortable, and I thought it was really cute. Um, I just feel like if you are looking for some really nice sneakers that you kind of want to dress up dress down new balances always have that um they're just kind of like the little man they they kind of sit off in a corner but i'm telling you like don't sleep on them they are definitely coming with the heat find them on nike hibbit all of the next sneaker we're talking about are these cute little babies like i know the presentation of the shoe doesn't look that beautiful but i'm telling you still haven't worn these yet so these are regular i believe like 130 dollars shoes sam elderman um i've purchased boots from him before in the past and i was really excited about these because they first of all social media gets me because i wasn't looking for these shoes it was a pop-up and they sold me shoes basically they sold me two pair actually because i purchased my fiance a pair as well these are regular like i said um i think like 100 dollars shoes they were on sale for 48 dollars it came in black mauve pink this yellow i actually think it came in like a silver which the silver wasn't bad if they had gold i would have bought the gold ones for sure because I need some like gold sneakers. I used to have some Zara ones, but I wore those out. Look his shoe up. Like he, he actually has some gems. Like not even just tennis shoes. Look at his heels too. His heels are so cute. Going on to shoe number three. Yeah, girl, we kind of like, we gonna be scooting through this little video. But um, classic Cortezes. Like, are you kidding me? If you don't have these in your closet, what are you doing? Like these are so simple. These are go with everything. They're inexpensive. Like classic Cortezes. Why not? Why not? Why not? I paid $65 for these and I actually did, like I said, after pay. Um, which I mean, like, it's not that I couldn't afford it, but you know, if I can do after pay and just have like $15 come out and you know, just still have extra money to do whatever I want to do, why not? on Hibbit I got a size six and a half now before I keep going I'm regular seven and a half women heels I wear about a seven what I've noticed in women's shoes seven in women's shoes like sneakers tennis shoes things like that um in men depending on how the shoe is made I can do a six and a half or I can do a six Mostly the sixes work. The six work better. These you don't days. have this pair in your closet. What are you doing? Like, if you don't have the classic Cortezes and you don't have this pair, 
at this point just just book me as your stylist the end plastic pair of forces all white so as you know forces are going to be those shoes that are constantly manufactured all year long um especially the white pair they're never not going to sell the white classic pair if they do oh my god pigs are going to be flying you're always going to pay a hundred dollars for a fresh pair of uh, air forces actually even with some of the other air forces they are trying to go up in price but you're still not going to pay over two hundred dollars for air force you ever want a shoe that's very versatile air forces get into i would say lux shoes um the reason why i say they're luxury shoes because you're now spending two two something and up for these shoes um now i will say men consistently pay about two something for shoes uh but they also pay maybe like what 20 30 dollars for her cut and we pay like 150 dollars for hair like you it evens itself out so don't feel bad for them pair are my babies like <laughs> babies these are the air jordan ones um actually they came in this gold and metallic uh, well the metallic gold and the black love 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 how shiny they are like i love them they're a little dusty because they've been sitting in this box but these actually were reese i purchased them resale but the original shoe was $130. The original $130 shoe um, was so hot on the market that eventually it went to, you know, your bigger resale sites like your StockX and your GOAT websites. Um, they verify the shoes for you so you don't have to worry about if the shoes are real or fake because that's kind of what you're purchasing. You're purchasing that luxury of already knowing that your shoes is legitimate and somebody not selling you know crazy stuff i love these shoes everybody's working against the bots like i said the nike lady and her son were in cahoots and they bought all the shoes okay i'm running okay other people do it too but i'm blaming him because he had too many he had entirely too many but another pair of jordan ones these are so fly like why would you not why would you not so the six and a half in the uh gold and the metallic black i personally believe that those six and a half fit perfect that no matter what sock i put on they fit perfect this is also a six and a half so i just knew that this was gonna fit um fit the same i don't know if maybe because it's a man's shoe i don't really know what transpired the other six and a half does fit and this one does not so i really probably should have had a six in this one but i gonna say she's so smart she um told me to purchase the shoe fillers purchase the shoe filler so these are like a half size these are like a half size you can purchase these from amazon i could you not probably like I think I paid him like $6 for the filler and I just put the filler at the front of my shoe and it makes it fit. This is from StockX and I believe I paid $330 for these. Y'all, when I tell you I had to set up notifications for this shoe um, for the prices because at first the shoe was running at like $600. I just wasn't really willing to pay that. It's a classic shoe mixed with a luxury brand. So of course it is going to be pretty pricey because you're now mixing the two. If you know, then you know. So these are the Mansion Margiela and um, Reebok collab. So they collab together, you know, if you're not familiar, Reebok have their classic Reebok shoe, which I believe is nothing more than maybe like $80, $90. It's probably not even that much. But they mix it with a luxury brand. And I ain't mad. Originally $300. Um, you had to have your phones, laptops, iPads, all of that stuff 
set up ready to purchase because these were sold out in seconds so I'm not mad though because if you were to just purchase them for $300 um, you got a lot of stuff that made sense for the shoes like for example you have a dust bag for the shoe so of course I've already worn them and I put my little dust bag on my shoes make sure like they don't get dusty over time all of that other fun stuff but I'm going to do the shoe reveal because hunty they are worth every penny they so ugly that they cute that's that's kind of what it is it's like they so ugly that they cute the mansion margella times reebok if you gonna rock them you gonna rock them if you gonna wear them you gonna wear them so mansion margella they're known for the toe so of course they put the tabby toe on the classic Reebok and they also put the classic um, stitching from Mansion Margiela on the back of the shoe. Okay, not that much over that. Um, I guess they weren't high commodity when I was looking at them so they were like 380 something so by the time I checked out it was maybe like 420, 430 something like that and yeah I am mad. I ain't mad. I basically bought them for what they was worth. I paid maybe like what an extra hundred dollars more than what it was. 130. And it comes with the Mansion Margiela socks with the tabby toe. Baby, I'm so exclusive. I got a toe sock. Period. Those I got in the six and they were perfect. I did a lot of research before I purchased. Uh, Cause I needed to make sure. That's much it. That is all of the sneakers that I have now. I do have other sneakers. If you like this, um, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to share. I know it's been a long time, but y'all, I'm glad I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, make sure you hit that bell notification. Also, follow your girl on Instagram at Shayla Michelle. I'll be posting, uploading. You'll probably see me more there. I actually am more personable there. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and family member to come check me out. Bye, y'all.